good morning everyone. First of all, I would like to thank our honorable principal, Professor Sir Jafar Ali sir, for guiding us to conduct the online classes over virtual platform. Consequently, I would like to extend my felicitations to all my students for attending my class regularly as well as sincerely. I am going to conduct the session for the first year first semester students and my subject is fundamentals of tourism and hospitality. Today I will conduct the second chapter, chapter 2 and the chapter name is tourism through the ages. Here I go, after completion of this chapter, a students able, a students able to understand this, these features like, uh, like the introduction, early beginnings, early tourist attraction, early economic references, the first travel agents, historical and a history transportation. First of all, I will go through, you know, development of travels, how basically the revelation or evaluation basically happened in the tourism and hospital management industry. If I go through this chapter, development of travel, then definitely a students able to understand that students will able to understand the many features regarding the historic revelation of tourism and hospitality management. Like history is useful in study of tourism. All of you know history is essential in a country, in a personal life, in a, you know, in a, any, if you want to know any route or any information regarding any subject or any places, then definitely you have to understand the historical view or the historical situation or the historical idea or data or information to get a clear idea regarding this subject. So, if we want to know the you know uh, tourism and the roots of tourism, then definitely we have to know the you know accurate information regarding the development or revelation of tourism and hospitality management industry, how basically it is developed in the you know uh, Europe, America or in the Asian countries. History is useful in a study of tourism, not simply because there may be you know lessons to learn to be learned and but rather because the seeds of future growth are to be you know found in the past. And secondly, tourism has the history of 2000 years with the different perspective like the travel, visit, business, uh, pilgrims, festival, medication and many more. Consequently, tourism in the present form is however a recent invention, the world was unknown in the English language until the last century. Consequently, tourism has now become one of the most popular industry around the world. If you say, you know, if you see the, you know, European cultures uh, and Australian cultures or if you go through, if you think that, you know, Maldives is you know, completely dependent on the tourism and hospital management industry, their revenue, economical development basically dependent on this, the tourism and hospitality management sector also. So, it is very clear to you for understanding the tourism and hospitality management industry very easily. If we go through early travels, then we will also able to understand with the passage of time, the new civilization started booming up the different part of the globe or the different parts of the world. So, by the passage of time, by the passage of time, we have been, we have been seeing that we have been seeing that the travel and tourism industry uh, dramatically is dramatically developing uh, all over the world consequently if you if you uh, if you if you see the trade and business also also dependent on you know uh, dependent on this this early travels early travel uh, travel ages or early times of the historical view the sumerians babylonians approximately 4000 bc were early traders bringing goods from and egypt and india have been credited with major contribution to civilization, right? Writing the you know working wheels, money, and the concept of travel guide, all of these, all of these were you know useful early tourism development. All of these things basically helped to understand the tourism industry as well as the uh, they helped to develop the tourism industry. If you see the Egyptians, the Egyptians traveled mainly for the trade and military purposes, but their pleasures cruises al along. Uh, the Nile River, Nile River, and into the sea influenced tourism in general and coastal uh, visitations in the particular. They traveled on the Nile to participate the religious festival, religious activities. Also, in, influenced or the you know developed in the Egyptians, Egyptians era or the Egyptians development 
Egyptians also you know plays a vital role to develop that tourism industry, uh, uh, tourism industry in all over the world. If you see the Romans, if you see the Romans, the Romans started building roads in the you know in about 150 BC. These were quite elaborate construction, soldiers and laborers drug and roaded. And the stones, concrete were eventually placed, and the, you know so many constructions have been built in their in their revelation system. They used guidebooks, employed guides, left graffiti everywhere, and brought souvenir. For example, the drivers, and often amusing. So graffiti, any types of you know uh, any types of roads and you know infrastructures in that time specifically, specially developed. Here we go, the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians was the master and uh, shipwright right, and building tabby wooden crafts. And the, so many things have been done, have been you know, done in the you know, in their in their revolutionary process. And then if you see the Chinese there they have been playing and uh, played a vital role to develop the tourism industry. All over the world they have they have created an you know, example in the tourism market, tourism market. They have you know they, they will completely completely develop their businesses their you know uh, economical development and socio-economic development uh, through the tourism products by selling the products and grows uh, and 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 creating so many things uh, and uh, creating uh, and arranging so many ideas to attract the local domestic and international tourists for their for the for attracting their tourism products people travel to different places for exchanging goods and business some most threat Trading roads were framed, and Silk Road, Spice Road, and Salt Road, uh, and I know have been developed in their in their in their ages. If you see the Fai Yang, Fai Yang was also first Chinese pilgrims, and uh, traveled to the visit India. He visited India to the beginning of the fifth century A.D. And when the imperial Gupta were ruling in that time, he has visited the you know uh, India. For exploring their, you know, hospitality, exploring their, you know, for getting the idea regarding their, uh, regarding their, you know, uh, regarding their uh, um, uh, innovative idea, how to develop their tourism sector in the Indian uh, Indian government, Indian rulers, and if you see the uh, uh, Zhuang Wang, uh, Zhuang, uh, Zhuang Zhen was a you know, Chinese Buddhist monk who was a scholar also, a traveler also, you know, translator who traveled to India 17th century and described the interaction between Chinese Buddhism and Indian Buddhism also in the Hien Tisang developed in the 6, uh, 602 and uh, 664, the age. And the I Sting, I Sting about the 6072 AD, another Chinese pilgrim. Uh, Eistings, um, you know, Eistings visited Bengal. He, re, you know, resided, resided at the, uh, you know, Kamru Lipi for the three years, learned, learned Sanskriti and the cultural activities, to know the tourism activities, to know the, you know, how to how to behave uh, people with uh, one another, um, uh, one another, and as well as their their way of uh, exchanging their views with uh, with others. So it is highly important, and they have, they have been contributed. They have contributed their knowledge. They have contributed their ideas to develop the tourism industry. If you see the Polynesians, Polynesians from the Society Island, the South Pacific Oceans, known as the French Polynesians, they traveled to Hawaii, distance over 2,000 miles, and navigation were, was you know invented that time. Navigation as well as the for knowing the time, they have you know they have you know uh, they have idea got an idea created an idea to uh, have the uh, actual time by the uh, sea by sea the sea and sun and if you see the europeans the uh, that time and a long time ago they had an you know, drug ages that time people are quite afraid to travel uh, one place to another place and move to move, move one place to another place as well as you know uh, uh, they uh, they basically started their uh, tourism and hospitality industry uh, by based on their you know uh, based on their charity or crutch, uh, churches uh, by the, they basically provided the services through the churches, uh, through the churches because they have they have got so many so many fund from the from the you know elite elite class persons or the you know uh, rich countries so far they can manage their hospitality uh, through providing the services through the, their, their churches they they can help people also they can they can provide the you know uh, the food and shelter for the people also and if you see the grand tour. If you see the grand tour, 
the grantor of the 17th century and 18th century was made the, the diplomats, business people and scholars who traveled to Europe mainly to the uh, cities of France and Italy. That time the grantor refers to the you know uh, refers to the concept basically uh, those those who are you know those who are affluent those those person who are from affluent family they basically travel to Europe for their recreational purposes educational purposes educational purposes mainly but people used to say they basically travel to Europe and Italy or France for their entertainment so this purpose of grant or the travel or traveling scenario was little bit contradictory so far we have to know that Trump grantor persistence persistence persists today and the trip to Europe the continent can be traced back to the early grantor however today's concept is far different today's concept is very different because a student if if he or she wishes to travel for the higher education in in, in abroad then they can easily uh, get the opportunity and uh, if, if someone get the wish to get the medical facilities uh, medical facilities in the you know um, uh, medical facilities in the uh, in the abroad for getting the higher medical facilities and they can also avail avail the opportunity and if you see the early tourist attraction the you know uh, i will go through the points here for understanding you the great pyramids of egypt including the uh, snips the hanging gardens of babylon the tomb and uh, no, tomb of uh, mussels of the Halicarnassus Halic Halic now in the Turkey, the status of Jews of Olympia in Greece, the, close, uh, the Colossus of Rhodes in the harbor of Rhodes, as well as the great lighthouse in Paros and Alexandria, Egypt, the temple of Ardis Artemis, Artemis also called the temple of Diana. If you see the, if you see the, you know, uh, the stages, then definitely a student, student will be able to understand the, you know, four stages of, so say, four stages of tourism development. Then the, if you see the, if you, if you, if you talk about the development process, if you talk about the development process, then definitely we will go through the four stages, four stages of tourism development. For instance, I would like to say the prehistoric tourism, transport. In the prehistoric tourism, the first of the four stages covers the long period of what might be called prehistoric tourism since time. Immemorial and the human race used to travel a lot, search of food, escape from the dangers, and as well as if you see the gradual increase of wealth and the extension of the you know merchant merchant professional professional people have been um, the number of professional people have been you know, you know the number of number is you know. Uh, developed gradual increase the wealth is another reason to specifically uh, speci uh, the specially for attracting the prehistoric um, in the development of tourism as well as the transport the railway and the road and the bus and the other other transportation facilities have been developing have been developed that time for for promoting the tourism sector and the policies also government of the different countries the, you know uh, develop their policies to attract to attract the to attract more tourists from home and abroad as well as if you, if you see that they are you know uh, they are you know distinct but eventually related areas mutually dependent activity development of accommodation and resort infrastructure generally forward expansion of transportation is you know also important factor to develop to develop the tourism industry in our country if we see the interwar period if you see the interwar period then definitely we will able to understand the third stage is represented by the interwar period between 1918 to 1939 in the second world war before and the, however it was you know above all the ages of the motor car and the motor car facilities have developed and you know dramatically increased the number of you know motor car camping and caravanning and the spread of youth hostels cheap transports and tour by the motor coach uh, substantial growth in foreign travel occurred in that time and especially tourism takeoff the takeoff the you know the the peak time the how basically took the peak time on the takeoff uh, of the tourism industry the period of 1945 through the post war years the present time represent the four you know takeoff stages technical advance uh, te technical advancement transportation facilities 
and the um, you know the safe food and other facilities basically help to influence the people to travel travel the you know a lot of place and they, they can save their time also those people are affluent that time um, that time they basically um, uh, try, try to spend their time um, uh, to spend their time and uh, you know try try to um, uh, spend their time for the entertainment purposes and uh, if you see the you know uh, important world historical tourism events if we see 1946 1947 1948 1951 1954 1963 and 1965 this ratio basically showed the historical tourism events the first international congress of national tourism bodies meeting in london decided to create a new um, a new you know, new organization for the developing the tourism industry in our in the whole world uh, like uh, forming an, a non governmental organization if you see the first constitu constitutive assembly of the international union of official travel organization IUOTO held in the fog creation of the European Travel Commission and the IU, IUOTO transfers its headquarters to Geneva, Switzerland where it remains until 1975. If you see, if you see the, you know, if you see the, you know, Bangladesh tourism development at a glance in the ancient time tourists visited in the land of Bengal through the silk route for the business religion and the Buddhism and the religious purposes most of the people who had traveled in our country and the Barnier from the France came 11th century before liberation war. During the Pakistan time there was a you know, department of tourism at the center West Pakistan which was responsible to promote the tourism industry in our country. But the lack of fund, the lack of interest, our, you know, uh, our, the, uh, our, our tourism industry failed to achieve the goal fail to achieve the goal and the, you know uh, uh, if you see the you know according to the Bangladesh Project and Corporation BPC was set the presidential order number 143 November 27 and the 1972 purpose of the promotion or the operational activities to give service to the customer to, to provide the facilities to provide the information to our to our people to promote the tourism sector that is why in 1972 basically by 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 getting the presidential order bangladesh project corporation or bpc was formed here the corporation came into being on 1st january 1973 with an appointment chairman by the government board of directors and 31st march 1973 when the uh, baby corporation started its new life and sovereign state after 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 the after, after getting the you know uh, liberation, you know, the Bangladesh Porcelain Corporation has been formed, as well as you know, um, the tourism, the tourism industry basically under the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Tourism. In the 1973 Bangladesh, in the in the in the 2010 Bangladesh government has also formed Bangladesh Tourism Board to promoting the uh, tourism industry to you know uh, to uh, to create or to make the from the marketing or branding the different parts of our attractive tourism sports. So far Bangladesh Tourism Board has been playing also vital role to promote the uh, promote promote the uh, our our promote our tourism industry specifically. The corporation came into the being first January and if you see the after after the eight decades tourism got and momentum um, momentum sector all over the world. If you see the you know, Cox's Bazaar and um, Rangamati, Khagrachuri, Bandarbon, you know uh, have also developed their infrastructure, superstructure, uh, superstructure, you know, development. Uh, the, um, uh, and uh, in 1972, Civil Aviation Division was created, and uh, and uh, and the, all the facilities and the other other uh, development has been taken by the Ministry of Civil Aviation and Tourism have done a lot of lot of uh, lot of development to promote the tourism industry in our country. Um, uh, in 1992 tourism policy was from uh, framed. 1995 tourism was declared as an industry in our country uh, and I will I'll conclude my session with a quote today and uh, this quote is true hospitality consists of giving the best yourself to your guests. Eleanor Roosevelt basically quoted this quote and uh, specifically um, again I would like to express my felicitations to all my students, to all my students for attending my session today and thank you all 
and my special message to you please stay home stay safe and enhance your immune to protect you from covid-19 coronavirus thank you